million people. They're taking black jobs and no, they're taking I, Hispanic is jobs. A black and you haven't seen it yet. That's well, we post it every Friday. Every Friday. See them corner emojis and you know why. I'm a jaded Gemini to the day I die. And I'ma talk my sh but I don't play both sides. So nah. I'm talking to you, this Sky News Australia. So humiliating. This right here, this is table talk. This is America. America. Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. These are our senior citizens, okay? This, this is, is our senior citizens. Don't squabble. look at it, okay? Let us handle this, all right? It's an A and B conversation. See your way out of it. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite YouTube couple. Back at it again. Top five. Top five. At least, bro. Maybe top ten. And we are not Glorilla. We're not endorsing political. Yeah, Dro. This is not no, what this video back. is, bro. This is merely just... An astute opinion, observation, right. bro. So if you've got your political opinions, bro, a, a true conservative or a true liberal would not tell somebody who they voting for, bro. Y'all niggas is weird right. nowadays, Right. Can we bro. go back to, what was it, 2008, like you said? Go back to when Young Jeezy, the recession came can out. Can we like, go even back to that. when we just didn't tell people who we voted for? Like, before that. that. That was dope. Because that was um, my president is black. My Lambo's blue before back when that. Joe, back when Joe was away. Go back to back when yeah. Joe was uh, back Remember when, when Joe thought that? he was black for real. Like Aww. that's what Joe. Th <laughs> Go back to then. Back when Joe really thought he was that guy. Yeah, bro, but sure. we got the debate going on. Um, I watched it in real time for maybe like thirty minutes, forty-five minutes or so, until it dawned on me like. Y'all got these old men up at nine o'clock at night. Like y'all are being abusive. Time. This is other abuse. Like no, this it is smells crazy. like <laughs> fucking poopy diaper in there, dog. All the Trump them, farted. Them bro. depends. Is Trump farted? Bro, Biden <laughs> is over here suffocating, bro. What the Biden coughed. <gasps> bro, I'm you like, know oh one of them God. them coughs came with a little shark. Bro, yeah, that like, little come shark. Come on, bro. Bro, that's that post C nineteen, boy. That, bro, that, what? Yeah, the little, Look. <laughs> Come on, bro, man. I was dead with Trump did a little too. I was like, oh, wow. And I know it was him because they were muting. Unlike the last debate <laughs> where everybody was talking over each other. They would mute per person. This time, Joe was actually the one that was trying to talk over, which was surprising. Yeah, he was trying to get spoke. That's yeah, why he, he was trying to get because little... he was trying he, to talk the too whole much. time. He was on the panel just like this. He was like. <laughs> he was looking like Natalie on baddies. <laughs> hey, hey, Trump, your son's a crackhead, is it? Oh, yeah, he was like, you want to talk about felons? You want to talk about felons? You're son of felon, and you're going to be in jail when this is done. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Don't lock your ass up, bro. You better win. About, well, what did you say about? No, hold on. <clears throat> what did you say about Hitler? What did you say about Hitler? You oh, say he boy. has some good ideas. I want to hear it. I'm like, yo. Oh, you're out here. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know what he said. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what he said. He don't, he don't even know what he, he said. He don't even like, know what he said. But anyway, no, Joe was like, you be molesting women in the street. <laughs> and, and you were uh, having relations with poor stars while your wife was at home giving birth the whole time. Trump was like. Okay, I was about to say, that's kind of a dub. And then you're talking about when you giving birth. I'm, I'm like, like oh, wow. Boy, <laughs> what are y'all doing? City boys up five. <laughs> boys on Hoodville. Oh, my Why goodness. Why she was pregnant? Why she was giving labor? I didn't even know he was still doing that. But you know somebody out there is going to be like, he on them blue that shoes. guy gets my vote. 100% <laughs> now. That's why, 100%. I, that's why I think Joe was being so um, uppity. Because yeah. he realized like, uppity. oh, wait. <laughs> these boomers want an uppity ass. They want a show. I need to actually give him a show. Well, he should have brought his damn inhaler, bro. Because what the hell? He should have brought it. Well, they both couldn't bring their mouthpiece. So, mm -mm. I don't know. I was about to say he should have brought his mouthpiece Kamala with her silk press. She could have came up and cause she loved to talk, boy. I wish I people know. could have controlled their self last time. So there could have been like an audience and like a little bit more. But these niggas wanted to make it into the Maury Povich show. Because there was a few times they had to like cut. Like you see how our screen is split? Yeah. Say I'm Joe. They would randomly just be like this. And yeah. they'd be like, wait, where Joe at? <laughs> nah, because Joe was over here. <laughs> Yeah, there were some times where Joe was looking like the um the family court meme. He was just, I was like, oh my god, Joe! And I feel like somebody in the corner was like, hey, 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 what's your face? Like you're tripping. It's like what are you doing? Like it's just so, and we're laughing, but this is so like it's real life. It's scary, bro. Loki. It's real. 
we traumatized, bruh. Like, it's I a remember this all real. started. I was like on World Star, just wilding to yeah. a Nipsey song. Yes. And then now we're here, bro. The F. Donald Trump, right when he got elected the <laughs> that first time. It was crazy, bro. Now but we're I, here. I, bro, after that, though, I started moving different after I saw how that cop looked at me. I'm like, oh, this is. Like, oh, like... y'all are empowered. Oh, okay. Because I'm like, <laughs> I'm fucking around, bro, because I'm like convicted felon. Cops definitely changed after that. Yeah, you're right. Automatic that I'm packing, wearing jackets in the summer. And then this dude's over here, like, that's my Jesus. You're not going to talk about him. Like, he was like, you say one more thing about Mr. He said, President. Turn I'm that off. Take you to jail. I'm like, damn, nigga. He walked I'm... up to our car. Turn that off. What happened to the First Amendment, pussy? What happened to the First Amendment? What happened to the First? <laughs> what happened to. Because I'm about to plead the fifth. I bet you he was right at the Capitol. Nigga. I bet you he was right up there, right on that day. You know he was. He almost got you a little, little, little lawsuit, bitch. You know he was. But nah, on some real though, again, no endorsements. You got two uh, eternal yeah, jackasses here. Yeah, they're both wilding. They're too old insulted. to be doing what they're doing. Um, Neither of them are really addressing the, the real issues <laughs> here. Right. Like, in the States... Inflation is high as hell when it comes to, okay, F, like, you know, all of the luxury capitalistic BS, like, groceries are high. Rent is high. Health is high. Child care is, is still high. Here. Student loans are knocking on your damn door. Every, they're, like, they're just, nobody's they're just business. The, like, the who's mafia. that peeking through the window? For real. It's, like, it's not did new. you move to this address? It's Sally Mae, We bitch. thought, on we're going to forward your bills. Like, man, what's that they gonna be. You know like, that soon they're going to be like, I'm calling about your car's extended. Psych, bitch. Where's the money at? Right. Or no, you're just going to see it on your uh, your credit score, on Credit Karma. That big going to hit. Man, look. Your transunion. <laughs> and we're about to watch like some snippets from this because we're not about to watch the whole thing, obviously. We're just going to go through like what social media thinks is funny, I guess. But not to age myself, when I first moved out around 10 years ago, Literally, next year will be 10 years since I've been living outside of my mom's house. My first apartment. Hey. Right. Stop. <laughs> Congratulations, nigga. My first apartment. Two bedroom, two bath, washer and dryer. $800 flat. Margarete. Uh, water included. Damn. And my electric bill, no more than like $45. Damn. Fast forward today. Today. Ten years. Just ten. Just ten. Just ten. Mind you, mind you, ten years before that, niggas was out here getting condominiums for thirty, forty thousand dollars or a raspberry and a grape and shit before like the you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, no, nah, I'll give it like twenty. I'll give it like twenty. Cause you know that little bubble. They yeah. did their little bubble and then it bust. Mm-hmm. It burst. Man, look. Pause. All I know <laughs> is that now today for a two bedroom apartment like what I had, I'm not even going to use my living situation right now because that's not really accurate to what's going on. Um, And I wasn't looking for townhomes back then, so I couldn't even really tell you. But an apartment today for what I had back then will be around like 25, I would say. Especially in the side of town I was on at the time. Um, and just minimum for a two bedroom, three hundred dollars for uh electric. So You said what would have been twenty five? Um, a two bedroom in one of them damn shoebox apartments. Twenty five hundred? Yes. A luxury. Back in the day? No, two days. Oh, right yeah. now. I mean, that shit can get well, <laughs> Y'all got any luxury one bedroom? Y'all got apartments? any luxury one yeah. bedrooms? <laughs> like, like bro. four, five, six thousand bands, nah, nigga. Dude. Depending on what you want, they got that that good beige paint, like my dogs. That good old beige <laughs> the, paint. The refrigerator that, silver. The refrigerator bitch. silver though. It's not all bad. <laughs> they just painted over the fucking thought, light switches. Uh, I really don't know what he the said. The end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. God. He said, I don't think he know what he said. Joe, our country is being destroyed as you and I sit up here and this waste a lot of time in this debate. Gentlemen, like thanks so much for being here. Let's begin. She challenged me through a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. For me, I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. I told you before, I'm happy to play golf with you, but carry your own bag. 
Yeah. You can do it? That's the biggest lag. It was a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight? Yeah. Yeah. What are y'all talking about? Shut up. Like, y'all are so trying old to mix them up. <laughs> he trying to get a No, clean. seriously, bruh. <laughs> he throwing up them curveballs. And then, bruh, Joe's face is so tight. Like, oh my God. Bro, Gemini's are the worst, bro. His face is so tight. You don't want to argue with us, bro. Oh my gosh. You get on your bed. Joe. We'll get on your bed. I want to Joe. give you an opportunity to respond to this question about the national debt. He had the largest national debt of any president in four year period. Okay, no. The, what is it? The Age Australia? Stay out of our damn business. Oh, Sky Australia. Get Age out of Australians our business. Australians are so obsessed, bro. They are, though. And like, some Canadians be shout obsessed, Shout out to the Aussies, bro. though, because they y'all are chill, nice though. in person. Don't get me wrong. But I, I have to be honest. My underlying opinion is y'all do be a little, like, Man, I sold some Australians on some here. coke back in the day for, like, $150 a gram, bro. I love Australians. But what I'm telling it's you, crazy. they got to stay out of this one, bro. No, y'all really do. You like. Really this should. isn't this isn't for y'all. Hell, I even love niggas from New Zealand. Hell, when we got engaged the night before, I met another group of Australians. Yeah, Didn't I know. Serve them, I, don't I don't know do what's going no on like but in the world to drinks. why they're over here a lot, but I think it was because we were black and we were cool. And it was like, damn, y'all swagging. We out. got some pictures with them too. Yeah, I do. I got his email. I need to hit him up. Yeah, they gave us their email. Bro. He was like, "Yeah, Yo, you need to oh. put a ring on a finger, but." Why why, 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 why would you put a ring on a finger? She's beautiful, mate. Like, what? You? Oh, and I got like a, a ring in my pocket. I'm just like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you was Real looking like cocky. this. Oh my god! That, I was looking like bitch. just like that, just totally confused, and disoriented. Oh my gosh! Number one, number. Making sure that we're able to make every single solitary. Damn, that's just what everyone is saying good. about this: is that he's just forgetting what he's saying. The total ban. Trump yeah, ends uh, Biden's uh, life. He caused the inflation, and it's killing black families and Hispanic families. Oh yeah, I wanted to talk about this: the black jobs. What are black jobs? Let Let's hear Trump real quick, because I'm confused. I want to hear he that caused the inflation, and it's killing black families and Hispanic families, and just about everybody. It's killing people. They can't buy groceries anymore. They Is can't. He sleep? You look at the cost of food, where it's doubled and tripled and quadrupled. Oh, okay. They can't live. Can They're up. not living anymore. Well, he caused this inflation. I gave him a country with no, essentially no inflation. It was perfect. It was so good. All he had to do is leave it alone. Man. He destroyed he it with his green new bro. scam and all of the other, all this money that's being thrown out the window. He caused inflation. As sure as you're sitting there, the Fact is that his big kill on the black people is the millions of people that he's allowed to come in through the border. They're taking black jobs now. And what it could be 18, fuck? it could be 19, and even 20 million people. They're taking black jobs, and right. they're taking what Hispanic jobs. And, and you haven't seen it yet, that's but that. you're going to see gonna something that's going to be <laughs> the no, worst in our history. Thank you, talking about? President Biden. You know it. There was no inflation when I became president. You know why? The economy was flat on its back. 50% bro, of the bro, like, that's he what I was decimated like, the economy. Bro, what is this? His face oh, being tight as fuck, bro. Like, you get mad. Bad, man. Bro, there's so many times where he's just been like this. He just be getting his face to be like this. I'm like, bro, chill, bro. You're doing too much. Your face is going to snap off, nah, and we're going to see the pink meat. I just remember them PPPs, man. That was the last thing I remember from them Trump days, man. He I didn't get in on that. That's really decimated you know, the economy. That's why there was no inflation at the time. He did give us no jobs. We provided thousands and millions of jobs for individuals who were involved communities, including minority communities. We made sure that they have health insurance. We have covered. If the ACA has increased, I made sure that they're eight thousand uh-huh. dollars per saying, person bro. in the family to get written off for the health care. But this guy wants to eliminate that. They tried 50 times. He wants to get rid of the ACA again. And they're going to try again if they win. We find ourselves in a position where the idea that we're not doing any, I put more, huh? we put more police on the street than any administration Yo, has. Stop, he wants to bro, cut the cops. This shit is so embarrassing, bro. Stop looking at it. Stop looking at it. Nah, I want to hear um, that clip before this one. Go back one. <laughs> Like, bro, I this just want to know. I just want to know what's a black job, nigga. I don't know what a black job is. I, I, it that one can only speculate, right? If you think statistically, if that's what he's talking about statistically, 
I would say he's talking about like a, a, a lower a lower middle class job or like a, a upper lower class job, so to speak. I feel like he's trying to appease um, New Yorkers and like people in the northeast area. Because Unless you're talking about like a black woman, because you know black woman been eaten statistically. So that that's why I was like, bro, all the shit that they be talking about, bro, it's hard to have like an informed fucking opinion on it whatsoever when it gets all passionate. Like they call it, they they act like it's passion, but it's just like y'all just both be jumping around on dumb shit. And even like when he is destroying Joe, which he is on this one, because it's like, bro, this nigga is barely coherent most of the time. And Trump's getting there, right. his goddamn self. But at the end of the day, it's like I feel like unpopular opinion. Not to cut you fuck? off, but unpopular opinion. I feel like nobody wants to admit that Trump is off too mentally. Like they're both. It's a different old. type of off though. And then, so the only thing, like, cause there's there's you know just like checks and balances, bro. Everybody's got their pros and cons, bro. Quite frankly, I don't think some niggas. Um, don't think about their own financial situation when they're making these decisions at all. Some do, some don't on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. That's where we all need to do better, bro. You need to be voting to what the fuck benefits you personally, not not your fucking ideology that was given to you, whether you think something's right or wrong on whatever side, bro. You need to be trying to like self-preserve at this fucking point. When it comes to these two motherfuckers, they're both pawns bro none of these two people are and if you are any type of rational person you would know that none of these two people are actually going to be involved but when i was just reading about um places when you read about places like florida where we're at where there's like it's hella red shit going on but there's a splash of little blue shit because the major cities or whatever or i just read about damn new mexico where you can abort a baby full term but you can also full uh open carry like this shit is, America is a crazy place. And that's why I think the Australians need to stay the fuck out of our business, bro. Because we don't just got drop bears and damn uh, venomous snakes trying to kill us everywhere. Uh, we got all of that and these two motherfuckers right here, bro. Mm. Who are both. And have you seen that Dick, do you seen the Dick Cheney movie, bro? Yeah, bro. That shit, like, I'll never view politics I think we the all, same. Well, I'm not going to assume we all, but... I'm sure the majority of the people watching this are aware that these people are just the faces for different ideologies behind different, um, hey, well, what is it called? It. Like chairs, like different people that are in the party at the time. Cause I don't want to say it's like a permanent ideology. Cause you know, it's always changing, but yeah, they're not running shit. My thing is though, is that the I would, group I would call it an agenda. Yeah. For lack of better words. What the group will do that's in, involved in the chair at that time will usually pass a little BS that benefits the overall viewpoint. So like um let's say the overall viewpoint is conservative. So we're going to pass laws to where the state has to be in charge of if something is legal or illegal or not where that's a slippery slope to leading into oh well we're deciding on if abortion should be legal or not state by state let's do civil rights let's do you get what i'm saying yeah but it could also juxtaposedly be a protection then, for free speech or like let me let me just do a juxtaposition yeah. so people don't think i'm being biased and you also got the liberal thing where it's like the umbrella is equality Right. But then something gets passed along the lines where you have a place where all drugs are legal. What the heck? What the fuck? Yeah, bro. So, yeah, it's not like these people specifically are doing it, but it's the what did you say? The uh, agenda yeah. behind it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. You just got to watch out. The, the things that really should be getting talked about, I feel like always are never in the forefront because of all this sensationalized bullshit right here bro got the angry nigga in the the sleep nigga and then it's like bro what the fuck about the uh like you said the real issues people still don't got fucking water out here in some places bro 
Right. They were talking about water and nobody People mentioned still getting Flint. cut I down, cut down left and Jesus. right. The violence is still up. Nigga, the cartel still smuggling goddamn Fent in this bitch left and right. Um, like, bro, the list just goes on and on. And now we even got like warring factions in our backyard, like, uh, you know, Haiti going on in Hispaniola right now. Turn the hell up, right? What are we, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and don't even get me started. Speaking of Haiti and like, um, Cuba, weird, weird Russian, political Russian government warships stuff. in Cuba. Um, Joe was talking about the war for a bit, and he basically was on some, I'm still on some Obama stuff, and yeah, we still going to help them boys over there, but it just is what it is. And Trump's response was, oh, we not helping them boys. We about to starve them boys out. Um, But he still didn't understand Bro that. Bro signed the thing in that we started fucking with them harder than ever because of him. I know, but and, and I. 